In this video, I spent over 4,500 resin on Yelan, including 3,000 for artifacts, another 1,000 for her boss materials and talents, and finally 500 for her weapon ascension materials. To top it all off, I did this without unlocking the bottom of the chasm. But how did I do it? What's up guys, it's Invane here, and this time I'm back with a Yelan level up, artifact farming, and character showcase mega video. I recently was able to pull Yelan and her signature weapon, and if you missed that video, you can watch it here in the top right corner now. But it's finally time to max them out and show off her true potential. So let me quickly first explain the structure of the video whilst I have some farming footage playing in the background. First, I'll quickly talk through what I'm looking for on Yelan's artifacts and her build. Then I'll quickly do a level up montage of Yelan, her talents and her weapon. Next up, we can look at what artifacts I was able to farm up and level them up together as we kid her out. And finally, let's try her out and see how strong she really is. But before we do that, there's something I really need to do. Thanks for that, Yelan. And if you're enjoying these videos, make sure to hit the like and sub button to let me know which videos you're enjoying. And it's a free way of supporting me. But with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so how did I farm for Yearland without having access to the chasm? Well, it was through the power of friendship. Okay, okay, it was through abusing co-op. So special thank you to those on this list that were kind enough to let me into your world, either to farm materials for ascension or her weapon, uh, or generally just run around and beat stuff up, so thank you. In terms of what we're looking for on Yelan, she naturally gets crit rate as she levels up due to her ascension stat. Her signature weapon also gives her crit damage and a lot of it. So those two basically balance her out, but crit rate and crit damage subsets are always welcome. And we'll likely be using a crit rate circlet to balance out her crit ratio. Yelan's skills all scale off HP, so HP% percent is also great, and we'll be looking for a HP sans. For the goblet, we'll be looking for hydro damage, though some initial calcs have shown that HP goblets and circlets even are fairly comparable. So if you have better substats on those, they might be the way to go. And finally, she's fairly energy hungry, so some ER substats would go a long way as well. Okay, it's finally time to level up Yelan. It's all been pre-farmed and ready to go for her. All right, first things first, let's check out her stats. I've already equipped the weapon. So she's got roughly 1k HP, 5% crit rate, and almost 70% crit damage because the weapon just gives so much. Energy recharge is normal and nothing else there. All right, let's level her up. I, I'm gonna expose myself here, but I actually never take them to 20 with the books. I always end up killing mobs for the final bit of XP. Time for take off. All right, hopefully that'll do it. Yep, cool. Now let's go and send her. In my line of work, combat skills are essential. God, I wish I was a Fatui right now. All right, back to killing stuff again. Thank ready. God for Venti, man. This makes it so easy. All right, that's one more done. Did I mention how good her sound design is? Like, something about the auto attacks is so satisfying. Oh, there we go. Boom, there's another one. All right, this ruined guy should probably give us the perfect amount of EXP. Okay, 400 damage, we're popping off, guys. Oh, okay, all I gotta do is land the shot, though. There we go. One more. Alright, let's just ride an ult at this point. Boom. Holy. Alright, there we go. Alright boys, we're almost there. 60 out of 70 now. Okay, speak your truth, queen. Alright guys, we're making a quick stop to the crafting table. I gotta make a couple more of these. And finally, the big ones. I think that should be enough. And there we go, that's 70 out of 80, one more left. Alright, last one, and she's done. I have long regarded you as my most important informant. Uh, mommy? Well, because of that, we have to take her to 81 now, at least. Let's quickly grab these for good luck as well. Okay, so after getting her to level 81, we have now roughly 18k HP with the weapon bonus as well. 24% crit rate, 69% crit damage, and that's about it. The healing bonus is from um, Resonance, so that's all good there. Let's level up her talents. So with the talents, I'm actually not sure what I wanna do with them, except for the burst. That I know I wanna to take to nine. I think leveling the auto attack does increase the barb damage. Yeah, so you actually get more barb damage when you level it up, so maybe I will level it up. All right, let's do... All right, let's do 669, starting with her auto attack. All 
All right, now that that's done, now on to the E. And lastly, her burst. Oh my god, that was a lot of Mora, but we're finally done. I might just leave them there for now, guys. So, the final thing on this list is the weapon. Honestly, it looks so sick. It kinda looks like it could fit Ganyu as well, so I might make a video about that, but first let's level this up. I'm keen to see what it looks like once you max it out, because I do know the appearance changes when you level it up. Jeez, how does this weapon already have 65% crit damage? It's only 60 out of 70, like, oh my god. Alright, last little bit to upgrade and it's done. Wow, oh my god, look at the weapon, it looks awesome. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of designed almost for Ganyu, right? Like, wouldn't she look sick with this on? Alright, so final stats with everything leveled up. We've got, what is that? 24% crit rate, 138% crit damage, not too bad. HP's at what, 7? 18k roughly? So honestly, decent, you know, considering there's no artifacts on her. So I thought we should test her out, even though I know she has no artifacts, like I just want to see what her damage is like. Alright, let's get her some energy. There we go. Let's see how much the E does. 7.3k? Not bad, not bad. What about the ult? Oh, it's kind of weak source. Oh, okay, actually, it's not too bad. 2k a crit, 800 non-crit. And E is about 4,000 if it doesn't crit. I mean, like, I don't know what I was expecting because I have no artifacts on her, but honestly, it's not that bad even without them. Alright guys, with Yellen leveled up and us having done some initial damage testing, it's finally time to see what 3,000 resin worth of artifacts gets you and we can level them up together. So the initial calcs online show Emblem of Sever Fate is probably going to be her best set in terms of damage and utility, but I think 2-piece Heart of Depth and 2-piece Millilith can also be a decent option if you have good substats. Alright guys, so starting with the flower, I think our best bet is probably to take a look at the ones I've leveled up already and see if Yellen can just kind of steal someone else's kit. So this one's got what, 4 crit rolls, 14% HP, this one's got 5 crit rolls and about the same amount of HP. The other ones have stats that she doesn't really want to use, so... Hmm... It's a tough one. Maybe what we'll do is... I'll take a look at what ones we have at level 0. And then we'll see if anything can level up better than what we've got already leveled up. Uh, otherwise, we'll just use what we've already got. So I found two flowers that have HP percent and double crit on them. So I'm thinking, let's take one up and see how it rolls. Alright, so what is the fourth stat? Defense percent. Let's go. Can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? Just... Oh, wait. It went to crit. Nice. Okay. Maybe this has potential. Let's try some more. Alright, let's see. Crit, please. Just some crit. Crit rate. Hell yeah. Okay. So four crit rolls, some HP. We might as well take this to 16 then. Whoa. Where did it go? Crit rate. Okay. What is that? Five crit rolls? Alright. Final stat, please crit. HP is okay, but please crit. What was it? Oh, eh, not too bad. I mean, I did say it would be all right. All right, so now let's compare them. So that's the one I just leveled up. Wait, so that's got more HP, about the same crit, a little bit better crit rate. Wait, is there a compare feature in this game now? One sec, guys. Alright, so I finally figured out how to use the compare tool and it seems like the set on the right actually is probably a little bit better because what do we lose? We lose about 0.8 crit damage, we gain 0.8 crit rate which is actually better and then you get way more HP so I think we're just going to jack Mona's thing. I'm so sorry but it's not like she's using the HP portion of it anyway. Alright, now on to feathers. Alright, so the ones I've already leveled up, I remember I put this one at Amber because I thought it would be decent for her. Energy recharge, HP percent, crit. The crit's a bit low, but other stuff's pretty good. Um, let's take another flick through. Yeah, these are all decent, but they're not really good for 
Yelan specifically. That one, three crit rolls, three crit damage, one crit rate. Eh, it's just okay. What else have I got? That's a lot of crit, but not a lot of HP. And eh, that's a lot of energy recharge. How does that compare to the first one? God, this compared to all so good. Okay, so I think the other one's got more HP. This one's got more crit and energy recharge. Well, I definitely need the energy recharge more now. So let's do that. And just for completeness sake, let's see what we got. If there's anything that could be better. I'll have a quick flick through and let you guys know. Yeah, they're all hot garbage. Let's go move on to the sands. All right, so we probably want either energy recharge or HP here. I'm thinking HP because I've already got some on the other substats, but we might just have to use whatever we can get. Uh, worst case, because I don't know if I actually have any good HP pieces for this set. I remember I, I locked some that had double crit on them, um, but it wasn't on set. So worst case, we might have to pivot to something else as well. All right, guys, I had a flick through and it's literally all garbage. Let's go do the goblet first. All right, so with the goblet, I think we can go, well, ideally hydro damage, but we can also go HP percent. Um, and it probably has to be on set at this point since my sands are looking really bad. All right, so what have we got? We've got the one that, that's on Mona now, and we've got these ones that have barely leveled up. Surprisingly, I have a lot of on set ones, but they all kind of suck. I'm just tossing up whether I should steal Mona's or we should level one of these up. Let's at least check out the HP percent ones. Mm. <laughs> They're not much better, honestly. Let's at least give them a go and get them up to four and see if we get any good subset rolls. All right, here we go. Oh God, it's flat attack. That's okay, we can just recycle it. Oh my God, how did it get worse? All right, this is our last HP goblet. Attack percent, wonderful. Uh, I guess we're switching back to Hydro Damage, boys. All right, well, at least these are on set, but really these only have like one good substat on each of these. Like it's either crit or HP percent. Let's just give them a go. And I regret giving it a go. All right, let's try the next one. All right, what do we get? Oh my God. All right, this is the last one. Okay, HP percent, we can work with this. Whoa, five times, what do we get? Borderline useless that, let's go. I'm about to cry. Who did I piss off in my last life to deserve this, man? I guess that's a consolation prize, flat HP. All right, we gotta go back to the sands. I'm about to have a mental breakdown. I know I have some good offset pieces for HP percent. I think I was saving them for Hu Tao or something if I ever rolled her, so surely we gotta get lucky with one of them, right? All right, candidate number one. I think that's borderline perfect, flat HP, Double crit and energy recharge. All right, content creator lock, activate now. Uh, flat HP, okay, literally the worst thing there. But you, you can still be good, you can still be good. There's no way, man. What have I done wrong? Mihoyo, I'm sorry, whatever I did, I'm sorry. All right, well, we, we always have more chances, right guys? <laughs> this feels like my Joker origin story. Um, okay, that one seems decent. I'm pretty sure I had a four stat one too. These two are good. Defense, okay, maybe not this one. What's this, energy recharge. Okay, sure, this one, right? Surely, nothing can go wrong here, right guys? HP, flat HP, yeah, yeah, this is just like the piece we had before. You can be better than the last one. You can be the best piece we've ever had. What is that? No more energy recharge, just crit, just give me crit. I don't even care, just put, put all the fodder in. Go, come on. No, man, no energy recharge. Give me crit. I think I'm about to lose my mind. Do I just YOLO it? I can't, I can't justify it. it this piece sucks. Surely there's a better piece, right? Never mind, YOLO, let's go. Oh, uh, uh, Whoa, that's so weird. What happened to the last six minutes of my life? It's like it's totally gone. Like a repressed memory, perhaps. Anyway, look, there's a new piece. It has energy recharge, it has double crits, HP main stat, let's go. Uh, that's okay, That these things happen, right? Let's just keep going. All right, let's go. Finally, some crit rate, man. 
I, I honestly can't believe it took that long. Whatever. I'm, I'm running out of Mora too. Like, probably down like 5 million Mora at this point. More crit rate. Okay. Things are turning around now. That's four crit rolls total on this piece. All right, I mean, this is already by far the best one. We just got to commit at this point. I don't even care what else it rolls. Let's just go. Okay, I care a little bit. <laughs> Let's just drop one just in case. Crit. Speak it into existence. That's all it takes. Well, I might as well just bring this to 20, right, guys? Okay, moment of truth. Boom, crit rate. Oh, it was all worth it. That is so much crit rate, actually. All right, so if we're going with an offset sands, that means we have to go with one of these crappy goblets. All right, YOLO, just chuck it in, I guess. HP percent? Okay. Small, tiny constellation prize, I guess. This is super copium. <laughs> All right, and the last piece, it probably should be a crit rate circlet. The ratio is looking a little lopsided. All right, so I know Xiongling has this piece. Two crit rolls, three HP rolls. It's honestly pretty good for Yelan, but I think she just needs a little bit more energy recharge. All right, so I've decided to steal Kujo Sara's piece uh, with the energy recharge because it's only about two damage rolls less than Shang Ling's piece. Uh, plus, I need that energy recharge to burst on cooldown. And really, I just kind of don't want to steal Shang Ling's piece because I still use her in Rider National Team. So, with everything equipped and leveled up, Yelan's final stats are 37,000 HP, almost 80% crit rate, 182% crit damage, let's round up there, um, which is honestly a great ratio. In terms of energy recharge, we've got 154%, I think that's enough to be self-sufficient and burst on cooldown, plus it gives you extra damage with the emblem set, so that's always good. And finally, we were able to go with the Hydro piece, so 46% there as well. But with that out of the way, let's finally do some testing. Here, I've prepped our first test subject. I probably should break the shield first, right? Okay. Uh, this is awkward, what do I do? Um, <laughs> I'll just wait, I guess? I don't want to kill him too fast. Alright, there we go. So we probably should E into Swirl. Alright. And Oh wait, he's already dead. I don't even see how much damage I did. He just kind of died too quick. All right, we found a tankier challenger. This is Geo Chungus, my son. He's waking up from his nap. He's not very happy. It is time, Morax. We set on this now. All right, he should have more HP, so hopefully we can test this out. The only thing is I didn't <laughs> recharge my energy before this. Probably should have figured that out first. All right, let's wait one more rotation. Okay, Swirl, All right, now he's Hydro debuffed. Switch to Yelan, get a little bit of energy. And then we got Burst, wait, he's almost dead. All right, let's wait for the next rotation, guys. Next one, next one. He's getting big and angry, boys. All right, let's try this. So Xing Chu, E, E, then wait for the Burst. I don't have enough energy. And I miss Yelan Z, oh my God, what do I do? Uh, Giga Scuff test trial, boys. All right, that should be enough. All right, so, Xing Chu burst, shield up, then we swirl, okay, E, and burst. All right, I didn't see how much damage the E did, but the Q, oh my god, it's doing like 12k? Dude, he just got melted, what happened to him? Is this combo actually just cracked? Okay, this is probably our best time to actually test it. All right. That's enough particles for one. We should shield up again. Get Yelan her burst. I think that's enough energy. Cool. One more shield. All right, perfect. So, Hydro. Sucrose. Swirl. Yelan burst, and we just auto. He did 37K. Dude, we just absolutely melted him. Like, I kind of like this gameplay, man. Like, you just shield up, swirl, and you just mash auto attacks. I mean, next up, we gotta find Senora. Whoops. I was trying to shield. Is it the cold it's not. How can you even tell I'm trembling? You can't see me. I can't even see you. All right, there we go. Shield. Get some particles. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. Now they both have burst. All right, let's do this. All right. So, get the hydro applied. There we go. Burst. We swirl her, 
Switch to Yelan. E to 33. And burst does 12? Oh my god, what is even happening? There's too many numbers on the screen. And she's dead. I don't think I've ever watched the cutscene again after the first time. Uh, okay. Hydro Mommy versus Pyro Mommy? Alright, let's just set up the combo again. So get some energy. You know the drill at this point. Okay. Yelan E to get the rest of the energy. Let's cool down a bit as well. So shield up. Apply the Hydro. Swirl. Yelan E. 35k. Burst. Where did she go? Wait, what happened? Okay, so I do about 12k? 13k on Yelan? She she's doing about 6k. I don't even know whose orders are whose at this point, honestly, but she's dying pretty quick. Oh, I'm burning up, I'm burning up. Alright, rinse and repeat. Get the energy. Quick. Wait, we should just kill her now before she... She heals up and starts spamming. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, last second, eat. Oh my god, we got her. Let's go. Damn, that was really quick. She kind of just shredded her. Next world boss is Raiden. All right, let's just start with the same combo. E, A, O. Oops. All right, let's retry that one more time. Okay, this time, wait for the cooldown. Shield up, shield up. Okay, that kind of hurts. Shield up. We eat. Oh. Inferior. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, third time's the charm, right? Surely. Don't dash. Okay, wait for her to finish dashing. E. Finally. Of course, the one time I hit it though, no sack sword proc. Let's do the combo. So, E. Oh, okay. Wait, did Yellen's ult just do 17k? Oh my god, of course she does this form. Just quickly order them. Oh, we got her. Where is she? Okay, okay, quick, quick, quick. E. Jeez, look at that shred. It's pretty good. Issue is I have no energy. Quick, quick, quick. Oh my god, this is scuffed. Oh my god, I'm just getting smacked around. Okay. First time. 14k on the burst itself. Okay, when I can hit her, I'm like absolutely shredding her though. The single target damage on this is absolutely insane. I'm not even doing any elemental reactions. It's just pure hydro. Alright, we finally broke her shield. I think. Come on. Please. Shield up. Swirl, Yelan, E, Q, 20k, look at her HP, it just melts, all I'm doing is left clicking, and that's right and done, easy peasy if you ignore the first two failed attempts. Alright, one last thing before we switch over to the Abyss, I really wanted to try out this team with Raiden. Like, my Raiden's a little bit cracked, but I do want to see how Yellen's passive affects that and whether it does even more damage or I should just stick with National. All right, here we go. Is that Hydro or Cryo on him? Either way, it should be fine because Raiden's doing the damage, right? The other two are just here to support. All right. E. Of course, no sack proc. Man, where's the energy at, boys? I guess I'm just stalling at this point. Okay. Now we can burst. Okay, okay. So shield up. Alright, let's let him do his little thing first. Alright, waiting. Oh, he is Hydro. Okay. Eh, it shouldn't matter. Yell on Q. Ching Q. And now we're just smacking around. What is he doing? So I think Yellen's doing 9k. And he's dead. Jeez, that was so fast. Like, honestly, I think Raiden doesn't even really matter here. Yellen and Ching together with any comp just sounds really good. Alright, so I'm probably going to run that Raiden team on the second half, because there's a lot of single target damage I need to do. First one, I'll um, I'll figure it out, but that's not really the point of the video anyway. Okay, there we go. Finally onto the second half. Let's see what we can do. Alright, let's just group them up. Xing Chu. I never get sack progs. This is R5, by the way. Yelan, Raiden. Now I just mash left click. Boom, boom, boom. On to the next one. Oh, should I burst this? Alright, let's shield up again. I probably have enough time, but let's just use the burst. There we go. Yeah. Should be enough. 
Yeah, I probably didn't need a burst. So even with me being super stingy, we just swept it. Alright, that's the first half done. What am I doing here again? Oh, it's Magu Kenki. Magu Jenki. Magu Stinky. Magu Pinky. Oh, I'm losing brain cells waiting for him. Come on. E. E. Q. You know the combo at this point. E. Q. And now we just kind of smack him around. I'm waiting for his uh, second half and then I'll burst. We're absolutely deleting him though. Alright, there we go. Shield up again. Come on, teleport. Please. There you go. Quick, get some particles. That should be enough. Burst. E. Burst. There we go. Whoa, what is that camera angle, boys? Alright, Raiden can finally ult. And now we just mash. Alright, let's try to get him back into a wall. And he's dead. That was... That was 40 seconds, including his idle animation. We just absolutely swept him. And it's time for the final chamber. All right, I think this is Mechanical Array. Hopefully we get good RNG on this, but I think it should be fine. We're just gonna absolutely melt him. There we go, EQ. And now we just order for a bit. How much damage are we doing? All right, I might as well burst. Come on, come on. Hit him a couple more times. Okay, is he gonna split? Or should I just burst? When does he split? Oh my god, he's taking forever. Let's just let's just burst. Okay. E. Yelan E. Q. Should be fine, because we're ordering whatever he splits out anyway. Alright, where is it? Come on, man. What is he doing? He's stolen me. Uh this one here? What is that? As long as it's not the crab thing. Yeah, that one's fine. Oh, one particle. There we go. Burst. Yalan. E. Is that enough to burst? Let's just ulti anyway. Alright. And then, where's the core? There it is. Just about dead. Yalan ulti. Back. And he's dead. I think that was about a minute, minute and a half. Probably could have done it quicker if I didn't waste time at the end. Well, that was the Abyss. Honestly, pretty easy. I don't know if it was because of Yelan or what, but let's grab our gems. And get on out of here. Alright, so one last thing I did want to do is I wanted to try a HP build. Because currently I've got, what, Hydro Damage and Crit? So I was thinking if you run HP percent, whether it would be roughly similar or you would be losing damage. So I'm going to have a flick around, see if I have any good middle sets. Uh, otherwise, I could run HP in other ways, but let's see. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh wait, I wasn't- Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god. Guess the rolls were okay. Oh my god, man. Well, I just did something incredibly stupid. Um, well, I have to use all that backup fodder now. Don't tell anyone I have this, alright? Every time people see this, they always freak out and they tell me to open it. But I keep it specifically for moments like this. Well, that was painful. I blew through another million Mora just to make this kind of work. I'm gonna steal a couple pieces from people and let's check out her final stats. So what do we have? We've got 90% crit rate, 200% crit damage, not a lot of hydro damage there, and the ER has gone down quite a bit, but her HP is now at 41k. Alright, so E, E, let's see how much energy Yelan's got. Wow, that is not a lot. This is why you need AR. Alright, almost there. Hopefully this E, let's see. Nope, still not enough. Okay, you definitely need at least like 150 ER on her then. Alright, surely this time. Four particles. There we go. We can finally try it out. Alright, let's wait for this. Okay, let's go. Okay, 10k. And then add Xing Chu burst in there as well. Oh, it's actually really good. Oh my god, we're just shredding him. He's dying so fast. A couple more hits and he's dead. And we're done. Wow. 
So I guess in summary, this build's honestly pretty good. So even if you don't have a good emblem set, it seems like you can run two Heart of Depth, two Millilith, and still have a pretty good time, even with HP% percent as the main stat. So now that we've leveled up Yelan and tried her out, what do I think? Well, I think I'm broke. Having gone from 48 million Mora to 43 million, so apart from spending 5 million Mora to level her up, her weapon, her talents, and two artifact sets, I'm liking her a lot. Her damage and output is great with her passive and ult, and she's really a lot of fun to use, especially with the breakthrough charge shot and the E sonic run, followed by a knockup. Her character design overall is just insane with so much detail in her outfit, the swag on the auto attacks, and even the sound design. But thank you so much for making it all the way through this mega video. Since you made it here, why not subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell so you're up to date when new videos drop. I know this was a longer video, but I tried to fit everything in one single video, from leveling to artifacts to testing out two different builds and the abyss. So let me know down in the comments if you prefer these longer form videos or just the normal 10 to 15 minute kind. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.